Okay, so Yolanda earns a base salary of $1,200 per week plus commission of 1.2% on sales over $10,000. If her sales for the week were $22,653, how much did she earn that week? So Yolanda's earnings would be made up of her base salary plus commission. Her base salary is $1,200, so we can put that in here. So that would be $1,200 plus the commission. So that would be plus the commission, which is 1.2% on sales over 10000 So we would say this as 1.2% of, which is multiplication, and that would be 22,653 minus 10,000, because she doesn't get commission on the first 10,000. It's only over 10,000 that she gets commission. So let's continue. We have 1,200 base salary. Now, to get rid of the percent symbol here, we want to just have a number or a decimal. To get rid of a percent, you divide by 100%. And of means to multiply, so we can go multiplication here. And 22,653 minus 10,000 is 12,653. Next, we can see that the percent symbols will uh, cancel each other out. Now, if we're dividing by 100, what we're doing is we're going to be moving this decimal places two places to the left. One, two. So what we'll end up with is plus 0 0.012, and we still have to multiply by the 12,653, and we still have the $1,200 base salary in front. So now we apply the rules of bed mass. We have to multiply before we add. So let's move it over. We've got 12,653 times 0 0.12, which would be multiplied by, let's put 12 for now. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 2 times 1 is 2. And we put an x there, and or 0, we can go 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1, and then we add up the columns, that would be 6, 3, 8, 11, carry the 1, 5, 1. So we end up with this number here. Now we've got to figure out where to put the decimal. Well, we look to our number here that has a decimal in it, and we have one, two, three decimal digits. One, two, three. So what we have to do is move the decimal here over one, two, three places. And we will end up with 151.836. So we'll put that into our equation here plus 151.836. Now all we have to do is add these two numbers together. So we'll go over to the side and put in our 1200 uh, number here in the proper places, add up these columns, 6, 3, 8, decimal 1, 5, 3, 1. So our preliminary answer is 1351.836. But we look back up here and we see we have to round to two decimal places. So where's the second decimal place? It's right here. So we look to the number to the right of that. It's a 6. Because it's 5 or bigger, we bump this number up by 1. And what we'll end up with is 1,351 decimal 84. And because we're talking about dollars and cents here, we'll include back in the dollar sign. And we'll figure out and answer the question, how much did she earn that week? Yolanda earned $1,351.84. And there you go.